Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. Firstly I wanted to say thanks to all my new subscribers. The amount of interest in my network cabinet video has been phenomenal so a big hello to all those new subscribers but also thanks to everyone who's been watching and commenting the videos so far. From the title of this video the content is mostly about the Sonnet 10G Solo Thunderbolt 3 to 10 gigabit ethernet adapter but I would like to address a question that has come up a few times recently, why build a 10GBE network cabinet in the first place? I actually came at this whole network setup from a photographer's perspective. I found that not only was my current storage getting full, this G Technology Thunderbolt 3 drive, which only gave me 4TB of storage in RAID 1, I also found that although I had redundancy in that RAID arrangement, and I was doing manual backups of that to my QNAP NAS, I wasn't really happy with my backup solution. And finally the noise of this storage in my otherwise silent environment was driving me nuts. This is what the G-RAID sounds like starting up. And this is a slightly closer microphone on the G-Rate during a time machine backup. You get the idea. I was also slightly disappointed with the speeds of my G-Rate. According to the G-Technology website, they run at speeds up to 500 megabytes per second, although I understand the higher speeds come with the higher capacity drives. But even now I have the G-RAID running in a RAID 0 arrangement, I'm still only getting just under 300 megabytes per second on the right, and just over 300 on the read speeds. Pretty underwhelming, which is what's taken me on the 10 gig Ethernet journey, and takes me back to the whole point of this video, which was to look at the Sonnet 10G Solo Adapter. The packaging is more than dull, giving little away about just how capable this little box is. While I do a very quick unboxing, I wanted to mention that I had been watching 10GB technology develop, and I was originally considering the Sonnet Twin 10G, which offers two 10G base T connections, which would have allowed me to play with link aggregation. But the expense and the need for a power brick put me off, and I've yet to find a video on YouTube giving an impression of the fan noise from the enclosure. I also considered the Akitio Thunder 3 10G adapter. Only one 10G base T port this time, but bus powered and fanless. And I probably would have gone for one of those, but then Sonnet released the Solo 10G, which offers very similar specs to the Akitio, but was over £100 cheaper. It comes with a very brief setup guide, which contains one important point which I will return to later. Once you get it out of the cardboard packaging, you can see it comes with a network connection on one side, cooling fins round the side and top, and then a captive Thunderbolt 3 cable. This was the only thing that concerned me about the Solo, and although I found a couple of videos on YouTube about the device, none of them looked at this in any great detail, so in the spirit of most of my YouTube videos, I had to make one about it myself. Sonnet actually offer a cable changing service at the factory, so there is a good chance that taking a T10 Torx driver to the device will invalidate your warranty, so check before opening it up. Excuse the two thick cable ties around it, this is part of my wall mounting solution. To free the cable I just loosened the two fairly tight Torx screws, gently pulled the Thunderbolt out of the port, then moved the plate back to a thinner part of the cable and slid it off. You can see here the recessed Thunderbolt port and also the board and the much needed cooling fins. It does feel a bit cheap and I would have preferred a normal Thunderbolt port but perhaps this is how Sonnet managed to produce this at such a reasonable price. Then to fit my new longer cable I just plugged it into the port, 
slid the plate over the thinner cable, then pushed it into place and finally reinserted the Torx screws. Before I go into the setup of the Solo 10G, let's just take a look at network speeds through the standard gigabit ethernet port of my CalDigit dock. No great surprises here, with a theoretical max of around 125 megabytes per second, minus some network overhead, then it's a fairly reasonable 98 and 94 write and read speeds respectively. The setup of the Solo on a Mac was very easy, there isn't any. I removed the ethernet port from my dock, plugged that into the Solo 10G, then connected the Solo into my iMac via Thunderbolt 3. Now, even just trying the same speed test as before, to the Gigabit Ethernet connection on the Synology NAS in a RAID 6 environment, I'm already seeing modest increases in both read and write speeds. Now, the very small setup guide that comes with the Solo recommends adjusting your network settings to allow for jumbo frames. But before doing that, let's look at using the standard maximum transmission unit of 1500. After an initial burst on the write speed, it settles down to around 540 megabytes per second. Unfortunately, during this test, the read speed maxed out at 98. I suspected this was just some sort of glitch with my Mac and that a restart might sort the problem out, which it did. I didn't repeat the 1500 MTU test again, but I did enable jumbo frames in the settings, and the write speeds are now up to 564 megabytes per second, and the read speeds are now up to where they should be, around 674 megabytes per second. Before finishing up though, let's take a look again at a comparison of the read and write speeds. On the left, through a direct Thunderbolt 3 connection to the G Technology drive, two disks running in RAID 0, compared to the Solo 10G, also connected via Thunderbolt 3, through CAT6A network cabling to Synology NAS running in RAID 6. Around 100 megabytes faster in write speeds and over double the read speeds. And this is before introducing any SSD cache in the Synology, which I may cover in a separate video. So although I had my reservations about that captive Thunderbolt cable, there is nothing currently on the market that comes even close to the value and performance offered by the Sonnet Solo 10G if you're considering a move to 10 gigabit networking. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like to help the channel, and if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.